Hey guys, so I'm back here again at Yvongo Lagoon, the 5th of January 2026, to give a clear and factual update based on official independent water testing. That evening, both of their boys, aged 17 and 7, were sick, vomiting and diarrhea. Over the past few days, I share the concerns about pollution levels, bathing safety, and the need for clear signage, especially during peak holiday season. At the time, that concern was based on limited public information, which is exactly what most visitors would rely on. Since then, important new information has come to light. Now, the Laguna Lacrete Body Corporate commissioned an independent professional water testing company, Water Solutions, to test the lagoon and the area where the lagoon meets the sea. The tests were done on the 3rd of January and the results were formally released today, the 5th of January 2026. So let me break this down in simple terms. Two water samples were taken. One from the lagoon inlet, just below the waterfall, and the other one from the lagoon beach side, where the water flows into the ocean, or what you would call the mouth. Now the main concern people raised was E. coli, which is the key indicator of sewage or fecal contamination. Now here are the actual results. The lagoon inlet, meaning by the waterfall, was 110 E. coli units per 100 milliliters. Lagoon beach side, by the mouth, 95 units per 100 milliliters. Now what does that mean? For general recreational swimming, water is considered safe below 500 units. For blue flag beaches, which use much stricter standards, the limit is 250 units. Both of these results are well below 250, meaning the lagoon currently meets even blue flag level safety standards. So in simple terms, according to this independent test, the lagoon is safe for swimming at present. Now I want to address the messages I've received from people who have experienced illness, vomiting, diarrhea and stomach issues. I genuinely sympathize with anyone who went through that, especially while here on holiday. It's important to say this responsibly. At this time of year, many factors can cause similar symptoms. Food handling, changes in tap water, heat, humidity, alcohol, travel fatigue, an illness cannot automatically be linked to the lagoon water alone. That said, water quality should never be ignored. And that's why this testing matters. What's encouraging is that Laguna Lacrete has committed to ongoing regular water testing, including full spectrum analysis before peak holiday periods. That's how transparency starts. The consistent data, not guesswork. I also want to apologize if any of my earlier content made anyone feel that swimming was banned or definitely unsafe. It was never my intention. My goal has always been public awareness and safety based on the information available at hand. To everyone who commented, messaged and shared concerns, both positive and negative, thank you. Enough voices are what's needed for action. And to Laguna Lacrete's body corporate up top there, Thank you for stepping up and providing clear, independent results that everyone can see. I'll continue to share updates as reliable information becomes available to me. Because accurate information protects both people and this coastline we all care about. So, to conclude, what does this mean? Guys, I've received a test, an independent water test. However, as it stands here, this is what the municipality says. So if you don't know what to do, just read the signs. That's what I'm trying to achieve here, guys. There has been water tests done. The lagoon levels are safe. However, the signs are present here. Swim safe, and if you're not sure, always read the signs at the beach. Have a great one, and for those on holiday here at the moment, stay safe. Okay, how's that one? Good morning, everyone.